crucial that we talk about this issue in real terms. We talk about the impacts of the drying climate. What does that mean? It does mean more brave men and women in our communities having to be on the front line battling bushfires. We can't forget that. We can't pretend that isn't the case. We can't ignore the science. The fact that they're prepared to come out here today and say that and ask for our help to help them is absolutely important and should not be lost on any member of the federal or state parliaments. I also, I also uh, wanted us to have a look around and see all the children who have come out today because there is a number of them and I think we should give them a cheer as well. Some have been dragged here, some have come on their own, their own steam. But it is these children, it is the children who are here today who we are standing up for. My six-year-old daughter said to me last night, and I said, we're going to this rally tomorrow. She said, oh, what kind of rally is it, Mum? I said, it's a rally about reducing the pollution in the atmosphere so that you can have a healthy future. She said, what's the atmosphere, Mum? <laughs> Tried to explain it. And she got it. I said, when you leave rubbish lying around, if you don't pick it up, someone else eventually has to. When you don't make your bed in the morning, Cora, who comes and does it? And she said, Mummy does. <laughs> exactly. And it's time as parents, as grandparents, as siblings, as political leaders, that we started to help our children by making the bed before anyone leaves the house. Stand up for their future. Stand up for their healthy planet in years to come. I don't want my daughter in 50 years' time to look back and say, why didn't the adults do it when they had, the, when they had all the science, they had the facts, they knew what was going on. We can't pretend that we don't know. The science is in, Mr Abbott. The science is in. It's loud and clear. We are not going to stand for walking away from action on climate change. 55,000 people around the country today rallying in support of genuine, real, urgent action to reduce pollution in the atmosphere, to make sure we tackle climate change, we stand up for the firefighters and we do what is right by our children. That is what we're out here doing today. We have to keep doing it. Tony Abbott has introduced legislation into the federal parliament to wind back the only laws that exist at the moment to do the things we need to do. We need to tell him we won't stand for that. We won't be standing for going backwards. He may be thinking everything is all okay from the old century. We need to be thinking about the next century. We need to be thinking about the future of our children and the other nations around the world who are already battling the big effects of climate change.